hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to make these honey pineapple barbecue ribs i made these for the fourth of july and they were a really big hit so i wanted to share the recipe with you guys all right let's get started This is the guest of honor today. Now I got these ribs from Sam's, of course, and the seed, it is 6.8 pounds and it was 16.86. Now I like to get my ribs from Sam's when I'm, getting, when I'm getting a rack of ribs like this because they're cheaper and they're fresh. Okay, so I'm gonna open it up. Now, these are the ribs that I cooked for the 4th of July, and I said that I was gonna make some more with the video. Okay, these are very good, and it only takes an hour and 45 minutes for them to cook, unless you wanna cook them low and slow. I cooked them on 400. Okay. So what we're gonna do first is turn over. See, this one don't have that strip of skin that the other one had. And my nails, y'all, I got my fake nails took off, so these are my natural nails. They're kind of thin, but I have the um, uh, gel color on them, so it makes them <laughs> a little bit stronger. So let's see if I can get this off. Oh, well, look at that. Still can't grab it like I want to. You want to take this film off. Let me grab my knife. Jeez. Now, last time I cooked them, my son Greg was here, so he had to take it off for me. I can hardly grab it. But you want to take that membrane off. Oh, don't let me mess it up. Shucks. Let me give me some gloves. Okay, <laughs> y'all, bear with me, okay? See if I can get it. Y'all wouldn't believe how much time I spent trying to get all of that membrane off these ribs. Okay, I took off what I could and I moved on to the next phase of this video, which is where I'm cleaning them. And I couldn't get all that film off of there. So, hey, we're gonna do what it do. All right, and I'm gonna use some white vinegar. And I'm just gonna massage it in here. Just to clean it. I like pickled pig feet. <laughs> sure does. some crevices because it's been in that vacuum seal package for a minute let me take my baby out since she kind of come off on her own there we go clean that before i go to bed tonight there we go so you want to just rub your ribs good and get them good and clean get it massaged in here put some water on it. 
and it's full of water. That's it. You can, you can keep on trying to wash it off if you want to, but uh, with it being meat, pork, any type of meat, you're gonna be always having something in there. Okay, so we're gonna use this here. Let me wash this off. We're gonna start putting our spices on it. I'm gonna do one slab at a time. That one here, I'm gonna put mustard on it. Let me get my mustard. And we're gonna slather it on both sides with mustard. And get it really good and coated. This is gonna give it another layer of flavor, the first layer of flavor. And this is probably going to take all of this mustard. Yep. Then we get it massaged in real good into the cracks and the crevices. Make sure I use all of this because I don't want to put it back in the refrigerator. Yep. Okay, so when I'm cooking my ribs, I'm gonna be using garlic salt. And this right here is Killer Hogs, the barbecue rub. Okay, so I'm gonna be generous with both of them. This right here is not spicy. It has a little bit of sweetness to it. So I'm gonna be putting this on here very generously. don't really have to rub it in but you want your ribs to be seasoned okay I'm gonna lay this one first down in the pan Okay, now the next one, let me rest my hands off a little bit. Okay. Now these are gonna go in a 400 degree oven for an hour and a half covered with aluminum foil. That looks so pretty. Okay. 
Okay, let's get this in the pan. Okay, this is my pan that I'm gonna cook them in. I already have it lined with foil so that it won't be such so hard for me to clean up afterward. And we're gonna sprinkle this with a little bit more of this barbecue rub. And then we're gonna put it in the oven after we put foil on it. I like to get this from Sam Jaws two pack. This thing is big enough for this whole pan. Move my pot out the way a little bit. Okay. We're going to tuck it in. And then we're going to give about three slits in here. One, two, three. Just so them, some of the heat can escape. Alrighty, it's time to take the ribs out. Take out the coal. They're already coming from the darn bottom. Okay, so I let these cook for an hour and a half because I have more ribs than I had the last time. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing first is putting our Sweet Baby Rays on top. Okay, y'all, I did a rewind right quick. You see all this grease that's in this pan. Go ahead and drain your ribs of all of that grease because there's some good broth on there too, but you wanna get rid of the grease before you add your other good ingredients. That way you won't have a pan full of grease when you're done. Then we're gonna put some honey. And then we're gonna put one can of the pineapple tidbits, any brand you want to, with the juice. Okay, it doesn't matter which order you do it in. Let's go to uh, let's go to opposite order. Let's put the honey on first. Okay, this is just some wildflower honey that I got from the uh, 101 flea market up there in Greer. I'm gonna put the honey all on the top. Ooh, I love honey ribs. I used to go somewhere, I think Tony Roma's. And I think they had a Carolina honey. Can't find that anywhere. Okay, let's put the barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce on next. Now this is Sweet Baby Ray's. So what I'm gonna do is put a really lot on here because you want your barbecue sauce to get under the bottom too. So we wanna make sure that it's seeping through. So let's work a little magic here. I'm getting tongs. Yep. And I'll pour some under there. So that I can be on the bottom. So that's enough so that they will be so that it will have some of this good good mm, I don't know what you want to call it, deliciousness on the bottom of the ribs too. 
You don't want them to be dry. I'm not moving that a little bit. Let me get my other tongs. Okay, so let's see what it looks like under there. I want to make sure that everything is coated good. It should be good. All right, so what we're gonna do is finish putting barbecue sauce on the top. You can put as much or as little as you want to. Now, this is your recipe. Make it how you want to. Make it your own. Okay, so this is not quite a whole bottle. We'll save some for dipping. Then we're gonna take the juice of one can of pineapple tidbits. juice on there and just sprinkle on top and we're gonna come back this last time and we're gonna put some more rib rub on the top Gonna let this continue to cook in the oven for another hour, and we are not gonna put anything on top of it because we want some of that juice to die down uh, or to thicken and burn off or cook off. Some's going that thicker. Pour some of it off though. It's been 45 minutes. I decided to go ahead and get them out. Okay, and what I should have done is drain some of the juice off of it. So y'all remember when you cook yours, drain it. And that'll help get rid of some of this grease before you end up with the greasy mess. So let me go ahead and scoop some of this fat off of here, then we're gonna give it a taste. Let's see what they look like under there. Oh, they look good and juicy. Okay, who's gonna come and taste the ribs? You gonna taste them later? Okay. I'm gonna let them cool off some. All right, here you go. This is the finished product. This is my honey pineapple barbecue ribs. Now these were a hit y'all and I know you're gonna like them too. If you love a sweeter honey barbecue, these are pork ribs and they have the pineapple to it. It makes them so good. But remember what I said, when you take them out of the oven the first time before you add your sauces and your pineapple, go ahead and drain them. Okay, now we're gonna let the girls give it a taste. Thank you. Now they're very, they're very hot. I just got them off the oven, okay? Y'all gonna pray first? Let's pray first. <laughs> God is great. God is good. Let us thank Him for our food. By our hands we shall be fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Amen.
Don't be that greedy to, to eat. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get the pork off of it because it ain't coming apart. Well, get the knife. Yeah, that's why the knife is there. Look at you. Well, where are you going to use that one? Mama. Huh? Oh. 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 Come on, bro. Love that. That's, that's a big piece. I need that to be bullet. It's going to be hot. All right, when I cooked them for 4th of July, I didn't have any barbecue sauce. I told you it's gonna be hot. Mm -hmm. I had this with solid watermelon. You had the ribs with watermelon? No, I wouldn't have. Oh, you would have. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> All that slurping is not caught for. Okay, you move over some this way. Jeez, let me see, let me taste it. I'm gonna put my pajamas on, so I'm not gonna give me a fork. I don't think it all. Oh, come on. Ooh, yeah. mm. That's good. I hope. Mmm. You're careful. So they like this better or the last ones? This. These, these better? Mm -hmm. Barbecue sauce makes a difference. Mm -hmm. What did you use for the sauce? Bro. Oh. Sweet baby rays. No, from like the last one. Bro. Oh, honey. honey. This rub. That rub. Mustard. Pineapples. Mustard? Yeah, we'll use mustard. You rub them with mustard. I slather them with mustard and then put the slices on them and let them cook for an hour and a half. And let them cook for 45 minutes with everything on it, with the oh, toppings on them. Y'all like them? Yes, my All right, so y'all give, uh, out of a 10, what y'all give them? Rate them as. Nine. Nine out of 10 and 10 out of 10? Good, mm -hmm. thank you. All that slurping, stop. Okay, guys, this is the end of this video. I hope you like this recipe. I hope you give it a try. And if you do and you like it, leave me a comment, okay? Now, I don't cook ribs outside on the grill. I leave that job for my sons whenever they come over. But this is my ribs. This is my go-to recipe for in-the-oven ribs. Okay, guys, this concludes this video. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to be notified each time I upload a new video, please hit the notification bell below. Thanks and God bless.